Women, stop. I need to talk to her. The prisoner is in custody, miss. It's in connection with the crime. We're with the son. It won't take very long. I just have a few questions. What can you tell me about my mother's death? I saw the way you were looking at Langston. Whatever this is, can't just be about her play. Cole is Marco's best friend, and if you tell him, he's going to tell Marco. You can't ask me to do this. Please start, please. I'm begging you, just keep this between the two of us. You said you were my best friend. Okay, fine. I won't tell Cole, but only for now. You're missing the point. I don't like the direction she's going, Cole. It's horrible. I didn't lie to you, Marco. No? You told me you were going over to Dorian's. But when I went over there, she told me she hadn't seen you all day. Clint! Hello, sugar. I thought you were with Jessica. Yeah, I was, but uh, as, it, as it turns out, I had to go to the office after all. But now I'm home. <laughs> going somewhere? All right, listen to me. Anything breaks in the Allison Perkins case, you call me, all right? Otherwise, I am leaving for the hospital to pick Marty up and bring her home. Hey, Rox, what are you, what are you doing? Well, it may not be much, but I still got my business. The last thing in the world I want to do is lose it. Roxy, you, know, you may not lose as much as you think. What about my Rexy? See, I can't even say that anymore. He's not mine, and he never was. But you treated him like he was. You loved him like he was. So don't say that you've lost your son, because it's just not true. Skyler, you're okay. Where's the baby? Something happened at Statesville. I, I know, we've been hearing all kinds of crazy things. But what about Sierra? She's all right, isn't she? I hope so. You hope? What are you talking about? Allison got away. She she took Sierra. Oh my God! Oh I know God. it's okay, but I know I know I know where she went. I just need you to come with me. All right, we have to tell Rex. He left just a no, minute no, no. ago. No, no, Gigi, there's no there's no time for that. No, please, please. He'll be back any second. He'll be able to help no, us. No, by then it'll already be too late. I need you to come with me. We have to go now. I'll explain on the way. I get back to me ASAP. Thanks. Any info on Allison's gun? I questioned every guard myself. Nobody took it out of here. Well, Allison doesn't have it. They searched her. And I searched Mitch. Well, the only other person in here was Skylar Joplin. Where's Skylar Joplin now? Hey, I called the station to see if anyone knew whether Sierra was... Gigi! Gigi! we were going to spend some time alone tonight. And, well, what's so urgent? Why do you have to leave town? I'm not just leaving town. I'm leaving you. Had a girl. So before, when you wanted to talk to me about Langston, that was about to play too? In a way. You know, it's not just a play, you know? It's, it's about real people. Okay, I still don't get why you're so upset about it. Langston's made some bad choices that I don't agree with, and I don't know what to do about it. You're checking up on me now? I wanted to talk to you. Uh, yeah, right. I mean, you wanted to make sure that I was at Dorian's, and when I wasn't, you didn't even try to find another explanation. Like what? Like, maybe Dorian wasn't around when I got there, so I just went upstairs, got what I needed, and left. But, you know, go 
ahead, Marco. Put the worst possible spin on it, because you obviously want me to be guilty of something. That is so not true. Then why are you treating me like such a criminal? Maybe because you're treating me like a stranger, and I don't like it. Don't sugarcoat it, Natalie. Why would Rexy have anything to do with me? I'm not even his family anymore. I think that Rex is just trying to deal with all of this. Yeah, me too. Looks at me and he sees nothing but lies. They're not your lies. You didn't... You didn't know any more than Rex did. I mean, you didn't know until Allison Perkins told you. You think Rexy sees it like that? I think that Rex is not the only one hurting you. <sighs> I mean, what about you, Rox? Finding out after all these years what really happened to your baby? Oh, my poor little baby. Oh, what can I do? <sighs> Nothing. It's too late. No, but you don't have to stuff your feelings down inside. I mean, you must have a million questions. Yeah, you better believe it. Listen, give this to John, okay? There's something I gotta do. Coming! Hey. Hi, uh, Ro Roxy had to take off. She asked me to drop these off for you. Oh, okay, thanks. You expecting company? Thanks, why? An uh, envelope says extra key. Marty's moving in. Don't scare me like this, Jeej. escorting Joplin to a secure area for questioning, but they never got there. Oh, they never got there. Now, how the hell did that happen? Buchanan? Bo, where are you? We're still at Statesville, but, uh, hey, Balsam, you can relax. The baby's been rescued. All right, thank God. Yeah, I bet you've been uh, going out of your mind, huh? Uh, when did you tell Gigi? I didn't. I went out for a minute, and when I got back, Gigi was gone. I, I figured she heard news about the baby, and... The news about the baby hasn't been released yet. There's no way she could have known that by now. Well, something made her leave here in a hurry. She, she didn't take her phone, her purse, nothing. All right, you stay there. I'll be right over. Find Skylar Joplin. Okay, you can talk to the prisoner, but you're on the clock. All right, Allison have much time so in your own words why don't you tell me what you know about my mother's death I thought I heard she died of a heart attack I have reason to believe otherwise uh, Mitch Lawrence threatened Dorian's family then her sister turns up dead it's not a coincidence Mitch contacted you and ordered you to kill her didn't he isn't there supposed to be an attorney present you know what else you can either stop jerking this around or you can watch okay. and stick my fist in you'll have throat. to repeat the question I want to know my mother died. Well, oh, pull up a chair. You knew about the threats Mitch made to my Aunt Dorian. She betrayed him, and she got his daughter Jessica shot. Well, accidentally. Charlie was aiming for Mitch. All the more reason she had to be punished. Oh, that's right. Thou shalt not kill unless you or Mitch are doing the killing, huh? The messenger told me any one of the Kramer women would do. Imagine my dilemma and my potential candidates. I considered Star first. Okay, I'm not going to listen to this. Right, you know what? No, 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 no. Let her finish. But I settled on Cassie. Then I happened to hear a weather report. Sunny California was even sunnier than usual. So I headed west. To Melinda? I knew it. You killed her. Now, wait a minute. I didn't say that. I know our wedding vows were brief. I guess I should have added till death to his part. This isn't a joke, Clint. All right, what have I done to make my wife walk out on me? Nothing. It's not you, it's me. All right, what have you done then? You don't want to know. I think maybe I do. Trust me. I just think it would be best for both of us if it was just a clean break. No. What is best for both of us... is for us to put all our cards on the table because this is just crazy and I deserve an explanation, Kim. Well, 
all. I just wanted to leave before you could throw me out, okay? Is that enough of an explanation for you? Why would I ever want to throw you out? Because I did something really bad. You'd never be able to forgive me. This is nuts, and I'm be damned if I'm going to let you walk out without you telling me why. I was afraid that it would come out of the custody hearing. You were afraid what was going to come out? Stacy and I had a plan, and in order for it to work, we did a terrible thing. We kept the child from her father. Well, I figured you and Marty would be moving in together. Congratulations. Thanks. So, I'm surprised you're not on duty. I heard that Allison was still out there on the loose. The Skyler's baby. Bo's handling it. What, what happened? You didn't get fired, did you? Not this time. And I decided to take some personal time. Um, Marty had some complications. She's, she's fine, but she had to spend a little time in the hospital. I'm so sorry. I had no idea. Is the baby okay? The baby's fine. Why don't you just gotta take it easy? I'm sorry. I'm being rude. Please come in. I'm actually uh, surprised to see you. I thought you were taking off to London. Uh, actually, no. I I had to make that up. <laughs> Why'd you have to make it up? Because Allison was there. She told me to get rid of you. She had a gun. What? She was hiding in the back of the salon. I had no choice. I had a choice. You could have given me a signal. I couldn't. She said that she was going to kill the baby. She said she would kill Roxy and you. I, I didn't want to take that chance. I knew there was something wrong. I'm sorry. I lied. Unfortunately, you're getting good at that. I guess sometimes it comes in handy. I don't know what to think. She still isn't called. Well, obviously you tried her place, right? Yeah, I had to be careful not to panic Shane, so I just told Mo that I was calling to say goodnight. But no, she's not shown up there. You can't think of any reason that she might just take off on her own? Well, without her purse? Nothing could have gotten her to leave here unless it had something to do with Sierra. How long were you out of the apartment? <sighs> not long. I checked her phone log to see if she got any calls while I was gone. There's nothing. Well, maybe somebody showed up in person and didn't give her a chance to grab all of her stuff. I thought you said Allison Perkins was locked up. She is. She and Lawrence both. Yeah. Did you track him down? We found the guard who was supposed to be taking him to a secure location. He was locked in the supply closet. What are you talking about? Skylar Joplin. Send down an APB. Why are you putting an APB on Skylar? What's going on? Here. Don't panic. Hello? I think it's gonna be okay. How? There's no car outside. We walk into a totally dark house. Where is Sierra? Hello? Skylar? You swore that before Allison escaped, you heard her say she took the baby here. I'm sorry, Judy. I I lied. Look, we both know that Langston can be stubborn sometimes. This is different. She is making decisions that could affect the rest of her life. It really sucks when you see your friend messing up when they won't let you help. Look, you have to try to wait it out. Because eventually, she's going to need her best friend's shoulder to cry on. How am I treating you like a stranger? You're not here, Lang. I mean, you're in the room, but most of you is somewhere else, and I'm not invited. That's that's crazy. We're constantly missing each other. You don't get my messages, or I don't get yours, or or you say you're going out for ten minutes, and I don't see you for hours. I I lose track of time when I'm working on the show. This is not about the show, Lang. This is about you not being honest with me. I told you, I went to Dorian's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You went anybody... to Dorian's to pick up some sheet music. So where is it? Star has it. Understand. You just admitted you went to California to kill my mother. I did. One of those no-frill airlines. You know, they don't even serve peanuts anymore. Austin, we don't have time for your list. If he keeps Lance. this up, 
I might not feel okay, like talking. please, keep going. You went to my mother's clinic. Mm-hmm. It was all planned out. I was gonna sneak past security, find her room. It was gonna be a snap. Then what happened? I got caught. You what? A little wrench in the works. If there's one thing I'm good at, it's hoodwinking mental health professionals. I was in the middle of talking my way in when they told me... What did they tell you? Your mother was already dead. I don't know how you stood as calm as you did. I just knew that Allison wouldn't think twice to use the gun, so thank God in the end she didn't. I'm just glad you're all right. You are all right. It's been a really weird day. I mean, being held at gunpoint was nothing compared to the bombshell Roxy dropped today. What happened? Nothing. Nothing. You have no. plenty to deal with, with Marty no, no, and Baby. Don't, don't give me nothing, okay? Talk to me, Nellie. What happened with Roxy? She'll be okay. I mean, we all will. It's just the thing is, can happen with babies. What baby are we talking about? That's a long story. It's just it turns out that Rex isn't who he thought he was. Why are the police looking for Skyler? Uh, we had a situation and we needed him to stick around for some questioning. Okay, now, now, wait, you told me that Sierra Rose was okay. Now, he didn't try to run off with her so he wouldn't have to go to the custody hearing. Sierra Rose is just fine. She's in good hands. So, what's the deal with Skyler? He found out something that is going to be pretty hard to handle. I don't think his head's in a good place right now. What did you lie about? Is Sierra okay? Did Allison do something to her? No, 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 I swear to God. It, Sierra's fine. Allison was arrested. Okay, so now she was arrested. She won't ever hurt Sierra ever again. Okay, so why did you tell me that Allison brought her here? Well, I had my reasons, but the point is the baby is safe and I wouldn't have left her if I didn't know that. Left her where, Skyler? She's with her father now. Fish showed up with a DNA test that determines the paternity of Stacy Morosco's baby. You're not still trying to tell me that Sierra Rose could be mine after all? No, Balsam. She is not your baby. How can Sierra be with her father? You're her father. I thought I was. I mean, that's... That's what Stacy told me, but she, uh, lied to me. She lied to all of us. Are you hearing this, Gigi? Your sister set us up. It was all a damn lie. I'm sorry, I, I don't follow. I mean, she knew what she was doing to us, but did she care? No, not, not as long as she got what she wanted. It was Stacy, Gigi. Stacy tore us apart. Sierra Rose isn't yours, Balsam, but... She's not Skylar Joplin's either. Without all those lies, I never would have lost you. Stacy never would have died. Sierra never would have gotten kidnapped. But your sister set it all in motion. She condemned us, Gigi. Skylar, she condemned stop, us stop. Hell. You're scaring no, me. No, and the thing, you know, the thing is, none of it had to happen. None of it. Because I'm not even Sierra's father. Why are you saying because that? Because I have to say it. Gigi, I have to say it because it's the only way I'm going to be able to let go. Because Sierra's not my child. She's... She belongs to somebody else. My mother was dead when you got there? Find me a Bible and I'll swear on it. Okay, maybe she really did die of a heart attack. No, see, it doesn't explain the phone calls. Someone has been trying to contact me. He said that my mother was murdered. Sorry, can't help you there. That gun you're in a place where you can't hurt anyone else. Ma'am, she's not getting out of here, right? No. No. I'm gonna get some air. So what happened to him? Who? My baby boy. Where is he buried? Buried? Why would he be buried? I'm never gonna forgive Stacy for what she did to us. I mean, how, how can you use your own baby? So if, if you're not Sierra's father, then it was Rex no, all along. No, 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 it was Oliver. <laughs> Oliver? Oliver. 
It was Oliver, Oliver Fish, Sierra's father. Thanks. Well, I, I don't believe it. Fish is the last person I thought. DNA tests don't lie, boss. That little girl and I have a lot in common tonight. What do you mean? Finding out your dad's not who you thought seems to be going around. Yeah, you got a lot to deal with. You know? Well, Allison mentioned something. But you know there's a lot worse things than uh, find out that you're not Mitch Lawrence's son. Yeah, that I won't miss. But Roxy, whoever thought that I'd want to be her son. What are you talking about? You're not? All my life, at least I had her to count on. Now it turns out I'm not just looking for my father. I don't have a mother either. I wish I could say it was Stacy's idea, but it was mine. Except when we told Skyler he was the father, that's when it was a team effort. But you both knew the truth. I knew it was Oliver Fish. How did you get Skyler to believe that the baby was his? He don't even want to know. Yes, Kim, I do. We convinced him he had sex with Stacy while he was drugged. Who drugged him? Well, Stacy did, but she never would have if I hadn't given him the stuff. You know, what you were doing is so dangerous. No, it was insane. Making sure that Rex still thought that he was the daddy when Skyler thought that he knew he was. And then all the while, the real father was in the dark. You know, don't you, that you could have ended up in jail. You're not going to have me arrested, are you? No, but I think you can kiss our chances at custody goodbye. Right. And since the reason we got together is Sierra Rose, I guess this marriage is over. It doesn't have to be. So, after Roxy and Mitch's baby died, she managed to pull off another switch and found an abandoned baby and gave it to Roxy and told her it was hers. And that kid was Rex? Yeah. All this time she had no idea that he wasn't hers. And then Rex, he's so devastated. Who wouldn't be? I just don't want to help them and I feel like there's nothing I can do for either one of them. I just have to sit there and watch them suffer. It's not just them that's hurting. It's got to be tough on you, too. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm just, I'm, I'm worried about Sierra. You know, if she's still out there with that maniac. I thought she was going to shoot you. I just hate the fact you have to struggle with all this crap again. I'm okay. Yeah, but you spent so much time trying to find your father, and now you're right back to square one. I'm not going to sit around here feeling sorry for myself while Gigi is God knows where. No, we, we got to find her. We will find her. We will. I think it's a pretty good bet. She's with Skyler. Good. No matter what I think of the guy... He loves her. So as long as she's with him, at least I know she's safe. With all the things Stacy lied about, how do we even know what to believe? How can we be sure about all of her uh, fish? DNA. DNA. He knew there was an outside shot, and the test proved it. It's all right there in black and white. You saw it. Oh, God, and Gigi, when I did, I knew. I knew. I was the one who had to tell you. Why? Because, because this changes everything. I mean, do you, do you get it now? Do you get why I had to bring you here? Not really. Because this is where it all started. This, this is where you chose me. Okay, Skylar, I know. I, I, I you were so happy. Anything is possible, and you know what? We can get that back. You have the sheet music Langston got from Dorian's? 
Yeah, the, the lyrics for Star Power. Remember I said I wanted your input? I mean, isn't it in your bag? Can't you just show Marco so we can stop having this stupid fight? I never should have accused you like that. I should know you'd never lie to me. I'm... I gotta go home. Hope you didn't hire someone to follow me. Uh, come on! Langston! Oh. I, I said I'm sorry. Langston! What the hell just happened? I wish I knew. There is no excuse for what you did. I know. But we have to consider the reasons. Miss Stacy was your best friend. She was in way over her head. She grabbed for a lifeline, and you were it. It's still wrong. Yeah, but it's over. And Stacy's gone, and you'll never be in a position like that again. No, I won't. And as bad as it was, none of the things that you did concerned us. So as far as I'm concerned, that's not a deal breaker. It's not. I'm still willing to give this marriage a shot. How about you? I'm sorry, Clint. I can't. It's no use. I have to go. Oh, God, Kim. Why? Because I cheated. There is this guy from before, and he came here. Go on. And he started talking about how it used to be in our past, and then... One thing led to another, and... And you slept with him. Well, my dear. That is a deal breaker. <sighs> Thanks, but... No, thanks. Where are you going? Anywhere but here. What's the problem? Problem is, I said I would stay away from you, and... Marty is pregnant with your baby, and she's moving in here. I mean, don't you think four's a crowd? Yeah, but why are you acting like you did something wrong? Because I did. I cried on your shoulder again. Isn't that what friends do? Maybe I just need to find a new friend. So what? Am I supposed to talk to each other? We can say hello. But if I need to go any deeper than that, I... I need to find a friend that doesn't have a pregnant, living girlfriend. I'm really glad that Marty and the baby are okay. Mom really could have died of a heart attack. Not if someone keeps trying to tell me that she was murdered. And who besides Mitch would have wanted her dead? I don't know. Well, I think we've gotten all we're going to get from Allison, so why don't we leave? No, I can find my own way home. From prison? Yeah. Yeah, it's okay. Look, if my mom really did die of a heart attack, then I could use some time alone. But thank you. For being with me tonight. Sure, anytime. So if he wasn't buried, where'd you put the ashes? Is there something in the water around here? Everybody's jumping to conclusions. He wasn't cremated? No! Oh, God, help me. That was my son, that was my flesh and blood, and I'm never gonna have any peace. What the hell are you doing? I know something you don't know. Got guys in every sector, and they're all looking for Skylar and Gigi. All right, you got a roadblock here? Yep, in here. They won't get far. Okay, now I'm going to toss it to you, Balsam. If Skylar was going to take Gigi someplace, where would it be? Well, I don't know. I'd have to think. Okay, okay. You do that, all right? Think of someplace that might be special, and not just a Skylar. 
but to both of them. Skyler, there's no way we can start out. No, 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 of course there is, because the thing that killed us, Gigi, the thing that broke us up, it didn't even happen. I never slept with Stacy. Even so. Gigi, I knew I couldn't have slept with her. I knew because, because I loved you, and I still love you. And you still lied when you thought the baby was yours. Yeah, because I couldn't stand the thought of losing you. That doesn't make it right. I need to see Sierra, and I need to call Rex. He has no idea where I am. When we agreed to get married, and I even put it in the prenuptial agreement, there was only one thing that I would not tolerate. Infidelity. Well, that's why I was heading out of here. I figured you'd find out about it one of these days and just thought it would be easier if I was already gone. Good thinking. Because if you had waited, it would have given us time. Time to what? I might have started to care. I did care. You know why? Because you knew who I really was. You liked me anyway. I'll never forget you, Cliff Buchanan. It's been such a long day. I'm gonna go take a shower. And I'll be coming back down to have a bourbon tonight. Please. Don't be here. <laughs> you had me nervous there for a second. Shut up, you sicko. Leave me alone. Who are you calling sick? Self-preservation is the most natural instinct in the world. All you care about is your piece of the Buchanan pie. That delicious pie is my birthright. And you would have blown through it in one long, continuous shopping spree. Oh, don't get too comfortable. I may be down, but I am not out. Are you threatening me, JV? Damn right. And I will get my husband back. And when I do, I will destroy him. those calls to Kelly Kramer. You know, I didn't hire you to make excuses. I hired you to find out why someone's saying her mother was murdered. Okay, I'm listening. Hey. Kelly, everything all right? Not by a long shot. I need your help. Just give me that music. I've had it for a week. I know. I'm sorry. You can keep lying for the rest of your life. Fine. But don't keep asking me to help you. I didn't know what else to do. I was well, desperate. I don't start. You promised you wouldn't say anything. You promised. Please. Well, then... I guess you're lucky that I keep my promises. Thank you. did go to Dorian's. I was wrong about that, but there is something Langston's not telling me. Cole, I know it. Whatever it is, she's probably telling Star right now. Hey, can you ask her? Please, dude, Star knows what's going on with Langston. Find out what it is and tell me. Ford, it's Star Manning. I need to see you. Okay, all right, all right, that's enough. I'm trying to get answers from a crazy person. And I have had quite enough, and so is Rex. He's never going to be the same after what you said. You told him? Of course I told him. I told him he wasn't my son. I told him that the baby that I had with Mitch died. My baby dog. 
Except he didn't. Phone's dead. Huh. Can I borrow your cell? That's weird. No, I don't have it. I, I uh... In all the confusion today, I, 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 I don't know what happened. I'm never gonna signal up here anyway. Gigi, I'm, uh... I'm really sorry. It's not your fault. I'm not talking about the phone. I'm talking about everything. Me too. Look, I know that we were fighting over Sierra, but I know you loved her, and I know this must be really hard for you. Yeah, you have no idea. But, Skylar, you will find a way to get through this. You're stronger than you think. No, I'm not, I'm not strong. I'm not strong unless I have you. That's not true. Oh, just because you're everything to me. You're all I have left. I'm sorry, Bo. I'm not coming up with anything. Just give it some time. Think back to when Skylar and Gigi were close. Now, there had to be a place. Wait. I think I know where they are. I can't stay here. I need to see no, Sierra. No, 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 not, not, not yet. I'm sorry. I, I, I have to go. Well, Gigi, I'm sorry too, but you're not going anywhere. 